I live here because I had to get the hell out of Ohio. So... Yeah. And this is where there were jobs. <laughs> yeah, you, you're there out of necessity. Yes. <laughs> But Fort Wayne isn't the worst place in the world of Indiana. You're, at, oh. least you're not in, at least you're not in Green Tucky compared to where I was. I have no idea what that is. Oh, what Green Tucky is. Like. Oh, yeah. Green Tucky is just that area that's the southernmost part of Indiana where Get off me. in like an hour you can drive to Kentucky. So okay. it's, like, it's like where that area where people's families' trees start becoming shrubs. All right. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, you're welcome Ow, for my creative her. language, but like, uh, damn, I, I'm not built for the southern people. I'm not built for the south. I am a city slicker. The only south that I work with is Southern California. That's because you guys are just wannabe New Yorkers. Except <laughs> low. I mean, yeah, you're um, not wrong. Brett actually can be a little bit of a New Yorker though, because he can actually walk fast, which is good. That that is the natural speed. Oh no, you're dead. Yeah, you you're looking at the feedback. I normally like I normally like to do a screen share so that way the reactions can be immediate, but uh, I I understand. Yeah, it's I hear you scream enough times about your computer that I know that I Yeah, I, I I continue It's the same song and dance. <clears throat> yeah, that, da, 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 yeah, that, da, da, da. Okay, I have a question for you guys cuz you guys are all gamers. Mhm. Mm okay. Mm -hmm. What's a video game that you think could get, you know, either a movie treatment or a TV treatment? Uh, you know, kind of, so you know, kind of like a Castlevania or the or like a video. What game, game, game would movie. work well as an adaptation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's God. That's a. Delicate I'm thinking question. in the terms of like what I'm trying to think of is one that could work in Castlevania terms because Castlevania is just one of the best things to come out of video game adaptations. So. Ever. I will say you would probably want to go with something fairly old because you have, like, it gives you a lot more liberty to do things with the material yeah. and take, like, it, it gives you wiggle room to do things with the source material and more liberties right. with it than you would yeah. something very cinematic. Like, like, that's the thing with today is where... You clearly know what's going on in the story. You clearly know what the characters are doing and what the characters look like. That wasn't the case back then when all you had to work with was maybe some text and whatever. A few game and manuals. Were, yeah, things were vague. Shit. So you could you could play with it and you had liberties to to make it work in a different oh, he's medium. Oh, dead. Thank Christ. Mm -hmm. Metroid would be an interesting mini series, I think. Uh, but kind but, of... but specific but specifically I would want it to be a silent mini series. Like there's no talking. Yeah, like, no, think like... like think like the sam think like the sam like Samurai Jack where there's little to no talking. It's very much scenery based. Oh my I god, I need cool. that fucking restoration. Holy shit. And I just walk in on uh, <laughs> we're talking about what what, the, what would work what as an video adaptation. Game do you think would be would you like to see get a treatment like Castlevania or a video game? You know, an adaptation. And a Charky pointed out something probably older, so they so you have more wiggle room. And I was saying that I would think Metroid as like a silent mini series would be. I, yeah, no, I was about to add on to that. Like, I think it would work in the same. Like, okay, it's a similar concept of how I think it would work if Doom had a film treatment, a better film treatment than what the Dwayne Johnson one was. And that oh, is um, just like, just hear me out for a second because it would create this world of mystery. Um where you have no idea what's going on like okay so what both doom and metroid have in common involves isolation you're like the only person around you have to explore around a couple of areas and you've got different kind of monsters for metroid you have space pirates and all kinds of alien bullshit doom you have fucking demons all around on mars um yeah oh uh, that would actually yeah when but Keyframe was talking about Samurai Jack earlier. I think Doom could actually pull that off. Well, d d oh, if, yeah. I, if I could, um, uh, just, bleh. 
<laughs> like periodically, like let's have like it would uh, like it would uh, fast forward to the present, but also uh, go to the past. Like you would see a soldier, you'd see Samus, and you like see a past moment of where is this and where it came from, and it's building up to something really big. And periodically, they run into some kind of obstacle. Mm -hmm. Not so much as like a game adaptation, but more like you have to explore all these areas, and you, it's it's unveiling a mystery, you know. Yeah. So, Blue Griffin Aorzia mentions, "What about the original Final Fantasy?" Um. And <laughs> Final Fantasy is such oh a it, it's such it's a that's that's like making a that a, a movie adaptation of the Bible, like the whole Ooh, Bible. yeah no because each installment is completely different from each other. You could do it as an anthology series though if you take the concentrated stories from different uh, games and then you just made them their own mini stories in an anthology series. That could work. Oh, you know, well, here's another idea. Uh, much like with Castlevania, you could have like a TV show, but each season is like a different set of characters. And yeah, it's well, that's bizarre. What I, that's what I'm saying. As that's what I'm saying as an anthology series. You were gonna say something, a turkey? Uh, kind of more towards what Eorzea is talking about. Let's say if you were only sticking with the first Final Fantasy, which, mm -hmm. in all fairness, was their take on D and D, but. <laughs> The reason I laugh, uh, I kind of laugh, and this is stupid, because after E3, when they unveiled that, like, I forget what it's called, it's like Final Fantasy Origins or something. Oh, the spin-off game? Yeah, where, like, you have this John Dude Bro who is the most John Dude Bro to ever John Dude Bro white man ever. <laughs> and he's just like, he's just like, I'm going to kill Chaos. And you mind if I destroy chaos? God. And he has this fucking... <laughs> and he has this fucking outfit that he bought from Kohl's. And he's just running Not around. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh he's a t-shirt. Yeah, this is t-shirt designer pants and boots. And he's no. running around. Running around swinging a big-ass sword. It's like, I'm gonna kill chaos. Like, okay. like Don't rip my BOGO jeggings. <laughs> but, but, but like, yeah. Okay, you know what it would be like a good comedy series based off a video game? Mm. If you got the people who made glitch text to make a Ghost and Goblins animated series. <gasps> Absolutely. Oh my god, oh yes. god yeah, dude. That could You're like so whole... right. <laughs> that could be like a whole episode too. Yeah, no, because, okay, so as far as like oh damn it i fell into a trap no as far as like ghosts and goblins like yeah the game is hard as shit and it has like a comedic charm to it but it's still super charming yeah like, no what it's... what what i'm saying is is that uh you have like you have the arthur character and he's all he's like the straight man and he's like doing everything he can it's kind of weird to try to mix that up with comedy but i know where you're coming from i mean I... you're reduced oh. to a skeleton if you're dead I mean, that's just over the top, like, what the fuck? Well, I mean, like, you could always form it as, like, uh, when he's starting his adventure, maybe he gets, maybe, because Arthur is based off the Knight Arthur, so yeah, Camelot and stuff. You could have maybe, like, uh, Merlin the Wizard or something give him the ability to Ow! be immortal, but the thing is, is that you could still die, you just get resurrected fast. Like, that's the oh, thing. Oh, God. So, it just so imagine like the amount of times he dies, it's, and then it's he's like, like a dark comedy kind of thing, you know? Yeah, that actually that okay, uh, I can see but that's where that why goes. I'm also saying like getting glitch text because uh, if you see some of like the promo artwork for uh, Sir Arthur in especially the Ultimate Ghost and Goblins game that came out recently, it mm, would fit yeah. that art style because he kind of looks like I'll, I'll put a picture of him in the stream in the gaming chat, he kind of looks like the guy who's the manager of the store in Glitch Checks, honestly. He does. <laughs> but, like, uh... Watch Glitch Checks. It's, it's good. It's a, it's a very fun show. I... Other... Hmm? I want it to continue. I want Glitch Checks to go on. I gotta uh, watch that show it, still. It, it, I, I got a lot. Give them I your track. watches. The other, the other possibility for, like, a, a show... Because I think video games, when you adapt them, work better as series or miniseries. Because they ha you can do more with it than trying to condense whether a whole game or a whole franchise's worth of lore. 
Because, you know, uh, games can expand their again. lore and ideas through hours upon hours of gameplay into a two-hour thing. So, a, what if, like, maybe a Chrono Trigger miniseries Ooh, would be fun? Ooh, that would Ooh. definitely work. Because, like, you have the same art... Like, it was the same artist who did, um... Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Yeah. Akira, Akira Toriyama. Yeah. yeah. You... You know, if they were like, "Yo, Akira, you want to do you want to do a televised version of Chrono Trigger?" He'd be like, "He'd be down for me that. On that. Get Hell me on that." Yeah, BB, I got the screw attack. I mean, and they already have a pseudo art direction for it because the PlayStation port had animated cutscenes, didn't they? Yes. They had animated. Yeah, they did. Oh, that's right. Yep. So yeah. you can, so uh, which was from <laughs> Toriyama's studio nature. and animated at <laughs> Toei, so. You could, you, it, that would not be too out of the way. I think that would be really interesting. And, you know, Chad, give your answers as well if you had any uh, ideas. Like, I, the only other game I could think of that would make a great miniseries is actually not a well-known game. Uh, I can never pronounce it right. Like, it's Fazanadu. It was a SNES game. It was like an NES game. I, I know what you're talking about. Xanadu. I can't think of... I can't even think of what it looked like, though. Uh, what well, is it known it for? Was, like, like, this, we're talking NES, and it was basically... I... You're a wanderer that returns home, and you have to, like, uh... You have to basically save the whole town because it got under attack by dwarves. Like, you're, a, like, this little elf. I feel like that could be fun, but it, and it also fits the whole thing of... It has, a. Uh, it's so bare-bones that you could do a lot with it. I'll give you that, yeah. Because it's based off Xanadu, the video game uh, Xanadu games that were made way back in the day for like... I'll have to look uh, at this like, one. There's a couple of NES uh, games what, that still what, have yet to check out. What were they out. called? They were like uh, PC-8801s, X1s, like oh. the MSX computers. Like these are, these were old things. But Yeah, they, they were, got, they were on they the... Ports onto the Ow, set. fucker! Yeah, I There's remember because no, like, they were part of the... Dragon they were part of it, yeah. The dra the Dragon Slayer series because there was Dragon Slayer, Lord Monarch, Legacy of the Wizard, Xanadu, uh, uh, Rome, Ro Romancia, I think was the name, and then there was another one that had an yeah, that's uh, the Dragon a Slayer Junior Romancia. Yeah, I remember that there was another one, one last one in the series that had like an I A N at the end, but I could never, I couldn't fucking pronounce it because I'm not. Uh, what do you think I am, a linguist? <laughs> what, you think you're Milo oh. Thatch? You think I'm a linguist? You think I know language? Uh, the <laughs> but, game that well, I want is already getting an adaptation from the people who did Castlevania, so my I've already got what I want. Go ahead. What is it? Devil May Cry. Huh. Oh. Okay. Oh. We wait, are... wait, wait, the Castlevania team is doing it? Yes. Yes. Let's go. I nice. the all I want is my woo hoo pizza time man with his red coat going up against his brother who goes no Dante it is not woo hoo pizza time we must be serious now. <laughs> what version of Dante are they doing? Because I could there just are many, there are da there are different Dantes throughout the Devil May Cry. I, I could yeah, just imagine how, how much DMT. like how much like. The goofy nature that the Marvel movies would have in uh, regards to that. Like, you have something serious going on, but at the same time, something unexpectedly let field happens and it just works. 